Alabama lawmakers voted on a new congressional map on Friday, leaving just one majority black district in the state. This, as you might remember, defied a ruling from the Supreme Court saying this new map would most likely violate the 1965 Voting Rights Act. Kareem Creighton joins me now. He's the Senior Director for Voting and Representation of the Brennan Center. Kareem, can you remind us how we got to this point first? Sure. Um, in 2021, after the Alabama legislature drew a map that had one majority black district, um, they were sued in federal district court, and that district court decision finding a violation was affirmed in the Supreme, Supreme Court of the United States this term. And both of those courts found that the state should have drawn two districts um, that either were majority black or we're very close to it, as the district court said. And so we now have uh, the results of their effort to kind of correct the problem. And this given the population, given the demographics in the area, of course. That's right. About 28 percent of the state is African-American. And out of seven districts, the court found that given the heavy presence of polarized voting, that it was possible and it would be effective to create a second district. OK, so with the Supreme Court already having ruled on this, what mechanisms are in place to force the state to redraw the district, the districts um, once again? Well, right now, we're waiting for the local district court to review the work of the state legislature. And should they find that, as I think is true, the state has failed to comply with the order, even though they created a map, the map isn't good enough, they will then take steps to make sure that the law is complied with. Because remember, African Americans have now waited in Alabama two extra years under an illegal map to get justice. Mm -hmm. And so I think the federal court will then take steps, probably in appointing a special master, to do what the legislature apparently wouldn't. Tell me something. How are Alabama Republicans justifying this? Well, what they say is that they have a real interest in trying to protect two counties in the south of the state, which is the very same argument that they made to the United States Supreme Court, and it was rejected. But they are now doubling down and saying, no, we really think that's true and it's really important. I don't think that um, that's going to work either. They seem to hold some hope that uh, the fact that Justice Kavanaugh, one of the five votes that struck down their existing map, uh, that he wrote a concurrence to them leaves hope that maybe if they do it just a little bit differently, that that will be enough. Uh, I think it's a really big gamble. Uh, Alabama isn't a state that legalizes gambling, but maybe they want to play <laughs> their, uh, their time at the slots. I don't know. All right, Kareem Creighton, thank you for that. Sure, you're quite welcome.